Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. In this video, I wanted to show you uh, some of the uh, locomotives that Double Rail has picked up um, already here in, in 2013. Um, this is the first video um, for 2013, so I'd like to uh, wish everybody uh, a happy new year. Um, apologies for taking a few days off there for um, for uh, kind of planning and so on for 2013, but I think every coming weeks you'll you'll see why we did it. So, um, what we're going to be doing this uh, year is we've got uh, two new uh, types of video. Uh, one, uh, as soon as we get locomotives in, whether it's from uh, e Hattons or uh, eBay or, or somewhere else, uh, we'll do a quick introduction um, through a video like this. So you'll get to see um, some of the locos that will be upcoming in, uh, in future videos and reviews and so on. And the second thing we're going to be doing um, that's a little different for 2013 is um, we're going to be doing some uh, fleet videos and some class videos so um, every coming weeks and months uh, we'll be doing um, some just brief introductory videos um, showing the various different classes and various different um, models that we have here at a uh, WRL and one of the reasons we're doing that is to make it easier for people on our live events to be able to request locomotives so you'll be able to see what we have in the fleet and be able to uh, perhaps uh, do a request before the live event. So um, another thing that we're going to be doing or at least trying to do in, in 2013 uh, we'll see how much of uh, an effort it takes to do it is we're going to try to keep to a regular broadcast schedule um, it's something that YouTube has been pushing um, for the past few months and so we're going we're gonna to give it a go um, the way we're going to do the schedule more than likely is we're going to have a different type of video um, released on a daily basis. So um, what I'm hoping to do um, over the next couple of weeks is just get ahead with those videos. Um, with the exception of the layout updates, um, all the other videos I'm going to try to pre-record about a week or two in advance. And then um, we'll, we'll publish those out on a, on a kind of a daily release schedule. So rather in where you might get five or six videos at once from me. Um, you'll just get them on a more steady stream on a, on a daily basis. I'm also going to try to um, release videos on certain days. So, for example, uh, fleet videos and so on, we might release on a Friday, and then uh, we might release on Monday and Tuesday, maybe scenic and weather, or weathering type videos. Um, I'm not sure yet, so I'm going to see what I have planned for 2013. I can tell you it's going to be really busy. Um, we have uh, quite a few locos to go through in terms of repairs. Um, we've got quite a lot of locos and rolling stock I want to weather. And I've got quite a few interesting projects that are all underway. So, uh, not to mention, I've uh, about a year's supply of printable um, scenic buildings and so on to build. Uh, and you can see here in the background, we've uh, built one of the scale scene walls already. Uh, we also have the uh, the major layout extension, so um, definitely uh, 2013 is going to be a, a very busy year, and I uh, hope all of our visitors and viewers and our subscribers uh, will enjoy what we put out. Uh, if there's uh, something you'd like to see or some area we're not focusing on, uh, just uh, drop us a message and we'll try to accommodate you. So uh, this is the uh, first uh, locomotive we acquired via eBay. Uh, this is a uh, Merchant Navy class, it's a clan line and it's a Hornby model, it's a OR2169 and it's in a BR Green livery this is a super detailed model and it's a 462 it's the wheel configuration so um, the only other thing that uh, I'm, I'm doing right now which you probably noticed in the introduction of this video is I've been experimenting with uh, trying to do some uh, rolling shots with the video camera so um, the video camera right now is actually on a different line and it's uh, I've got two old Triang kind of heavyweight uh, bogey boosters and a SO tanker and then it's got, um, I don't know if you've seen our SO tanker conversion video but that's the one we're using to convert between uh, the regular tension lock couplings and the uh, old Triang couplings and um, then we've got a Hornby bogey bolster with the video camera on it that's being pulled by our our handy uh, class 46. So um, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy that particular shot. Um, I'll see if I can perfect it. Um, bogey boosters a little 
kind of uh, unstable with the video camera. But uh, so far so good with it. So I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Um, we have a couple of uh, coaches that we picked up and we'll probably just show those in one shot. I have a uh, class 33 in Network Southeast Library. And um, we also have a standard 5 which is a uh, Bachman standard 5. So um, those are the items we picked up off of eBay. Uh, there are ones I won there over the new year. And um, I think they're, they're pretty nice and I got a good deal on them as well. So uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. And uh, we have a couple more videos coming out today. And I'm hoping to start the, uh, the regular schedule uh, starting uh, today, which is Monday. This is a uh, Lima Class uh, 33. It's a uh, 33 slash 1 in uh, Network Southeast Livery. Uh, this is a limited edition um, version of the Lima Class 33. Uh, it carries the uh, name Ashford 150 and it is a limited edition version of the uh, Class 33 slash 1. And here we have a uh, Bachman Standard Class 5 MT, it's uh, 73068 in uh, BR Green with the uh, large crest and uh, BR 1C tender. And this is the uh, third locomotive that I picked up uh, this year so far. And uh, again this is picked up from the same place on eBay uh, in addition to the uh, Merchant Navy uh, clan line as well as the uh, Network Southeast Livery Class uh, 33 slash 1 uh, Ashford 150. So uh, this is uh, also quite a nice locomotive. Uh, now the rest of the items that I picked up um, were basically uh, five coaches. Um, four of them were Bachman coaches. Fifth one was a unbuilt Kitmaster. Um, so we'll show you the unbuilt Kitmaster uh, later on. But for now, I'll also include in this video, the uh, four coaches from that group that were Bachman that I picked up. Uh, three of them are uh, 63 foot uh, coaches, whereas um, the remaining one is a uh, Bior Mark 1. So these are uh, 63 foot bull uh Carter coaches. Uh, two of them are in uh, the Crimson and cream color, or blood and custard as it's known, and then one of them is in uh, machete green. 